hi welcome now I am going to show you how to use uh, some product function as uh, county function okay this is very interesting now that uh, uh, getting the same uh, value of count uh, same value uh, calculated by county function the same value can be achieved by some product function okay so yeah, we will quickly go to the Excel what we have here is the uh, product uh, uh, about uh, 14 products and uh, their uh, respective values of uh, price values okay per product okay from the supplier one what uh, our objective here is that uh, uh, how many uh, products whose price value is greater than thousand okay those items whose uh, price value is greater than thousand we are going to count them okay that is what uh, our objective by the count if function now okay how to do that it is uh, as usual you know uh, count if function count if okay count if function has uh, two um, arguments one is range and other is the criteria okay so for each one you need to find out uh, in this set of array what are all the prices greater than thousand we must select it then count only those prices okay so that is where our objective uh, that is the way the count if is working so what is the range is the full set of um, prices then comma criteria what is the criteria it's greater than thousand so our criteria must be if it is a single value uh, then you can put uh, just uh, thousand there but if it is a condition with a conditional operator you must uh, enclose it with the double quotation okay so this is the full set of uh, values and uh, this the uh, condition or the criteria so once you put the condition you will check in this set of array it will check the condition and make it as which are all the true values and which are all false and only the true values it will count okay so enter so total number count if is giving that uh, total number of uh, uh, prices greater than thousand is uh, seven okay how to achieve this same thing in some product okay the interesting part of some product is some product is accepting uh, argument the product part okay uh, argument as a condition okay so uh, uh, you can see here some product uh, when you click uh, some product you have some product always as uh, set of uh, arrays as arguments and uh, then what will do it will uh, multiply the first value of uh, this array 1 and uh, first value of array 2 and first value of array 3 then you multiply how many if you for example you are giving three arrays it will, uh, uh, it will have the first value of uh, set 1 and uh, first value of uh, set 2 and the first value of set 3 all these numbers it will multiply okay similarly it will do for every 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 row in the set or every value in the array respectively it will multiply finally it will add all the multiplication uh, uh, values okay so you i hope you know some product how it works already if not you can watch my previous videos okay so uh, you you have the array here but um, within the array the the interesting and beautiful part of uh, some product one of the array could be a set of uh, uh, boolean values and uh, we change it to zero and ones one can be a condition okay within the array it accepts uh, one uh, one not only one it could be multiple any array could be a 
zero and ones if you put a condition it also accepts a condition as a array in other words it will apply that condition on that particular array and uh, get the values into uh, true or false and uh, we properly put uh, that true or false to be changed into zero and ones then uh, then we can use that zero ones to multiply with the other arrays okay so this the beauty of uh, some product uh, uh, for simplicity it accepts a condition as an array okay so uh, what we do is i'll before i go i need to show you what all the conditions i'm going to write it down okay uh, first uh, thing is greater than or equal to greater than i am going to use the greater than thousand the condition here okay so supplier one whose price is greater than uh, uh, the items whose price is greater than thousand that is our objective so i am going to find out whether it is greater than or uh, greater than thousand or not okay for that to put uh, equal to sign as usual it is a formula then use the condition conditional operators to find out whether it is true or false instead of using if condition you can straight away use the condition of condi conditional operators to find true or false okay b2 is greater than thousand it is false okay similarly so in, instead of uh, if condition the uh, the condi whole condition become uh, simple uh, conditional operators uh, comparison it helps us to uh, change those array array formulas like uh, some product and all to uh, to include the condition itself uh, as an argument okay uh, so this the condition helps uh, to change check uh, the range is true or false okay now i want this true or false to be in zero and one so how to do that that can be done using a double unary okay so when you use the double unary you can change uh, value true or false into zero and ones okay double unary is you know already which is nothing but minus minus okay equal to minus minus of c2 okay zero so you can see the true or false becomes zero and once okay so those so one multiply by this one and uh, multiply by the price value okay what happens here is uh, the true or false is in zero and once now you 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 find the logic uh, 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 i explain to you the logic now so you have zero and once uh, we have uh, prices here okay and um, respective zero and ones okay when you multiply this with the, this array this array and the, this array is multiplied automatically what will get only the only the the present 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 value is the those having uh, greater than thousand isn't it right so for this case it is simply you add uh, you add the whole conditions okay you will get a count number of uh, w unary okay if you add those n plus ones you will automatically or you add all this array okay the sum of this array will give you the c you have the sum of uh, selected cells equal to seven okay so this can be done using a sum product function okay so i just simply uh, greater than or equal to thousand then i am applying the w unary instead what i'm going to do i make it a simple one formula here 
okay one one single formula making both into one statement so that we can straight away use it here okay equal to minus minus the condition not uh, the condition is what see the condition minus minus will give you the same result okay so this is the thing we are going to use it in some product also now I hope you understand the logic now so how I'm going to do is just uh, uh, use the condition within the sum product so that the product will become the zero and ones then it will automatically sum and uh, let us know it is the uh, sum the zero and ones it will automatically get the counting of those products having greater than thousand